back to your real time forecast. Rob, it's going to get pretty cold south of us. Yeah, chilly tonight. In fact, some locations are actually going to be colder farther to the south and farther to the north. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Temperatures are in the 40s currently. It's 48 in Hyde Park, and we do have a little bit of influence of the lake helping to keep you a bit milder. Winds are out of the east or northeast, and the water temperatures are running about 50 degrees or so. Uh, so that influence tonight is actually going to keep you a little bit warmer. Look at Burns Harbor right now, 47. But once you can get away from the lake or away from the wind off of the lake, Michigan City's at 36 and Knox is at 39 right now. Madison's right now at uh, 38. Compare that to where we are farther to the north and west, 50 for McHenry, 49 for Ottawa. So it's really a wide range of temperatures out there. And with the winds calming down, they have calmed down a little bit. Clearing skies and a little bit of leftover moisture in some locations, a lot of leftover moisture. That's going to lead to that patchy frost that we've been telling you about. It's not to say it couldn't happen in the city, but the city's probably going to stay a little bit warmer. It's once you go farther to the south or if you're in northwest Indiana, really anywhere in Indiana, I think frost is going to be possible. You didn't warm up as much today in the parts of Indiana, and that means you had a jump start on cooling things down now that we have those optimal conditions. That's why I think some locations here are going to get close to freezing. So frost may be a concern, but also getting a freeze is going to be a concern as well. 40 for the city. It's a nice round number, but again, once you get away from the city, away from the lake a little bit, it's not going to take much to cool you down. Spent a lot of time talking about that because it's really the only game in town. The forecast has been pretty quiet until I looked at some new data that just came in. I want to show you that because it made me a slight adjustment to the forecast. Let me show you what's been coming in in real time here. Satellite and radar tracker calls for a couple of clouds to come and go through early morning. That's why I'm calling tonight partly cloudy skies. Temperatures, though, not moving a whole lot, even into tomorrow, while they may start in the 40s, they're probably going to end in the 40s. What is new is that a little bit of moisture is starting to get kicked out by some of the new models. I don't think it's overall going to change my forecast. I was calling for clouds the early part of the day, maybe some sunshine the second half of the day, but it wouldn't surprise me if an isolated shower or two did pop up. Again, this is just one model depiction of what may happen. You have to take that with a grain of salt. It's why I don't make knee-jerk reactions uh, to my forecast when I see new data like that coming in, but it does kind of pique my interest here a little bit. Getting to 50 or maybe 53 or 4, depending on where you are tomorrow. Now, that's still well below the average. We do expect relatively dry conditions even into Tuesday, but the temperatures are well below where they should be. So you get 50s tomorrow, a little bit of a northeast wind, but just barely into the 50s. And then it takes us a while to get these temperatures back closer to where they should be. Notice the influence of the lake here, keeping you much cooler. If you can get away from the lake, your temperatures are going to warm up. It'll take you till Wednesday or Thursday. Thursday to get into the 60s, and I don't know that you're going to see 70s in this seven day forecast. It's certainly possible some of you will get there by Friday or even this weekend, but for the vast majority of you, it is a slow but steady increase. It's still a little bit chilly. Jim. Rob, thank you.